Now in this video, we're going to be talking about a very common error, which is called the carriage error. Sometimes you find it written as error 13, but mainly it's going to be written as it is on the screen now. It's written cart error or carriage store, power down, power down. Now basically this sources from a couple of things, but one of the main things to initially check when it happens is this belt here, which is called the encoder strip. Some people call it the grating belt. Now it is a transparent film with a coating. If you check it, firstly it's supposed to be in the center of these three prongs that are here. But mainly it's supposed to be inside a sensor which is called the position sensor which passes under the machine. Follow the white stick, you're going to see right here and you're going to clearly see that my belt is outside that sensor. Now how do I fix that? Simply I turn off my machine and after that I move it. We're going to turn on the machine and you're going to see that the cut error has disappeared. Right, as you can see there's no more movement. And after that, comes back and caps. Now that is one way that we can get a carriage error. Another way we can get an error is a couple of things. To start with, there's a motor which moves the carriage on this side of the machine. We have conveniently opened this up for you so that you can see. Now on different machines we have different motors. On this motor we have what is called a servo motor and as you can see it has a red light flashing. Sorry, it has a green light flashing. If you get cut error there and you check that to see that your strip is fine but you're still getting cut error, you might want to come and check this motor here to see if this light is flashing red. Now if this light is flashing red, the problem could either be with the motor itself or the power supply at the back. Now if the problem is the motor itself, well, the issue is taking the motor to one of our technicians to fix it or simply changing it. And again, we do supply these motors and we have them in stock. All right. The other cause, which I did mention, which is the power supply, I'm going to show you now now as we go to the back of the machine. See here, there's a power supply here, which is a 36 volt power supply. And this is the power supply which supplies the motor that side. I'm going to show you how you're going to use a multimeter to be able to quickly and easily diagnose to see if the motor itself has a problem. First thing to check is, is there a green light on the motor? And as you can see, there is a green light. But if you see that there's no green light on that motor, as some motors do not have lights at all, how do you do? How do you test it? You simply take a multimeter, any multimeter would do, and you put it on the DC phase power. Anywhere that is above 20, and on my multimeter, it is on 200. With that being done, I simply come to my motor, and I plug it in where I can test the 36 volts. One and one line is gonna be on the V minus, another line on the V plus. And as you can see on my multimeter there, I have 36.2, which is perfectly in the range. That shows me that my power supply is fine. If I have anything that is not in the range of the 30s or plus or minus five of that, then I will know that the issue to start with before I even check the motor could be the power supply. Now these are primarily the main causes of a carriage error. Your power supply, your motor, but mainly and so mainly is that strip that we talked about in the front. Thank you. Stay tuned for our next video. All right.